Are you trying to figure out which assets to invest in but don't know what's right for you? Then watch this video so that you can find out four assets that make people rich. My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. For the best infinite banking and financial advice, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notifications bell so that you're notified when we upload new videos. Make sure you stick around because by the end of this video, you're gonna have four assets that you can obtain to help you transform your finances. So the very first asset we say is a business. Mm -hmm. Now the business has to be strategically set up to make sure that it's a cash flowing asset and mm -hmm. that it's not taking money out of your pocket. Right. But if you just stop for a moment and think about all of the amazing businesses that there are in the world, they are transforming the way that we do business. Mm -hmm. So as long as you can invest in or start a business that is a cash flowing asset to you, then absolutely start a business. And especially these days, because with the world of digital marketing, it makes it so much easier and more convenient for you to start a business mm -hmm. with low overhead and maximum potential. Another perk to being in business is the fact that you have more tax write-offs. And by having more tax write-offs, you're able to reduce your realized income to put you, yourself in a better financial position. Asset number two are loans. If you frequent this channel, you know that we're all about utilizing loans to put ourselves in a better financial position because who uses loans? The banks. Put ourselves in a position to become our own source of financing by becoming our own bank. Mm -hmm. And by doing this, by providing loans to ourselves, loans to other people, we're able to benefit on the cash flow uh, that comes along with charging other people and ourselves interest. So that's another huge opportunity that we can utilize loans to put ourselves in a better financial position just like the banks. And the thing is, is sometimes we tend to uh, shiver when people are talking about loans because it's so outside of the norm. Mm -hmm. But if you just stop for a minute and think of, and even small loans, we're not talking about large loans. You know, the, the last time that you needed $5,000, $10,000, even $1,000, whatever mm -hmm. the case may be, you can create loans amongst yourself and family members and whatever it is to make sure that you're getting that money back with principal and interest. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, yourself or that individual would have gone to the bank. And if you you happen to have that money and are sitting on the cash, then you can create an, an arrangement and make sure that you have collateral. And a promissory note. <laughs> you have to make sure that you get that money back. Right. So it's all about WWBD, what would the banks do? We want to think in the terms of banks and what do they do? They, they lend, lend money. money. And loans are assets. All right, we want to hear from you. So comment below with own it if you find this information helpful. And asset number three is real estate. So we're not talking about the glamorous world of HGTV. We're talking about getting down and dirty and creating cash flowing assets with roofs on top of them. So we're talking about a commercial real estate and the tax breaks that come from that. We're talking about rentals, having someone else pay you the mortgage and, and cash flowing on whatever the difference is. We're talking about lending money, owning houses, and let someone else pay you the principal and interest so that you can replace the bank in those instances. Right. So real estate can be an amazing asset, but you have to understand real estate. So mm -hmm. you really, really need to do your research and really understand real estate because there's so many different things that you can do within the real estate niche. Mm -hmm. You need to capitalize on that niche and make sure first and foremost that it's cash flowing, that it's bringing money into your pocket and it's not an expense to you. Yeah, and just like a business, real estate allows you to take advantage of taxes, mm -hmm. tax write-offs to reduce your income. Mm -hmm. And asset number four, of course, is dividend paying whole life insurance policies. You could have guessed that though, right? <laughs> exactly. Hopefully. You know this is where we're going. <laughs> so this allows you to accumulate cash and leave a legacy for your family in the form of a death benefit. This allows you to transfer wealth tax-free to your family. Mm -hmm. This allows you to produce cash flow mm -hmm. while you're still alive, while you're able to use it in the form of loans and use those loans to capitalize on other investment opportunities. So when we talked about the so as we were talking about our four assets, remember, we're not talking about investments. We're mm -hmm. talking about assets, mm -hmm. things that you acquire to produce cash flow. Right. So in this case, we absolutely believe dividend paying whole life insurance with a high cash value in the form of a paid up additions rider mm -hmm. is a amazing asset that you can use to transform so many different ways in your life and also to get 
all of these assets that we've been talking about. Exactly. You can totally use your policy to invest in real estate. To lend to your business. And Yeah, exactly. So think about that. Get that 4% first off top and then get the loan that you need to then invest in real estate in your business and make even more returns. And even pay your taxes. <laughs> So there's a huge amount of different things that you can utilize your whole life insurance policies to finance the things that you already gonna finance in your life. And we just gave you a small list of those things, that, but there's a huge amount of other things that you spend money on that you can get creative with and figure out for yourself. Yeah, because again, we, we keep it simple, simple, simple. Mm -hmm. Get money in your pocket. That is the asset that you want and everything else, leave alone. <laughs> no matter how much somebody tries to tell you how good it is, if it's taking money out of your pocket, you don't need to you deal with it. You do not need it. Mm -mm. And also, after this video, check out our five benefits of whole life insurance so that you can see how whole life insurance can truly be an asset. So now that you understand the four assets that you can use to put money inside your pocket, check out our 52 ways to own your own lifestyle where you can actually download this guide using the link below mm -hmm. and literally learn 52 ways to turn your liabilities into assets. Also, if you want to join a community of high achievers and entrepreneurs just like yourself, we have a Patreon community where we discuss infinite banking and how to apply it on your own scale where we teach nowhere else because sometimes the infinite banking can be a little confusing so we break it down to show you exactly how you can apply it. Mm -hmm. So if you like this video give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and also share this video with someone who you think would find this valuable. And remember to own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.